मैं हमेशा से एक ही चीज़ कहता हूँ कि मेरे गुरु हैं पद्म श्री महावली सतपाल जी और मेरे आध्यात्मिक गुरु जो हैं बाबा रामदेव जी हैं उनका बड़ा विशेष आशीर्वाद मेरे पे रहा है और मेरे माता पिता का सभी दोस्तों का कोचिज का मैं धन्यवाद देना चाहूँगा कि उन्होंने बहुत अच्छे से ट्रेनिंग कराई और हम यहाँ अच्छा कर पाए तो बस सभी देशवासियों की दुआएँ चाहिए कि अगले टूर्नामेंटों के लिए फिर से रेडी होकर और फिर से देश के लिए खेलें और देश के लिए मेडल जीतें ओके सुशील कुमार विनिंग अ हैट्रिक ऑफ गोल्ड मेडल्स फॉर इंडिया जगदीश कालीरमन इज हियर विथ मी इन द स्टूडियो अ हैट्रिक ऑफ गोल्ड मेडल्स यस बट व्हाट वाज इंटरेस्टिंग टू नोट जगदीश वाज दैट ही हैज बीन अवे फ्रॉम द रिंग एंड टॉप फ्लाइट कंपटीशन फॉर सो लॉन्ग बट इट डिड नॉट शो ही लुक्ड वेरी शार्प सी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट सुशील कुमार आफ्टर द रियो ओलंपिक्स कंट्रोवर्सी इट्स अ गुड कमबैक एंड ही स्टिल इज अ चैंपियन so he proved this today like winning the gold medal bout in less than 80 seconds and by technical superiority so actually this is like uh, outstanding performance by mm. sushil kumar and when you look at 80 seconds i remember a bout in delhi at the 2010 commonwealth games where he won in 7 seconds by fall and what was interesting to note jagdish is all his matches which he had today he did not concede even a single point yeah no wrestler was able to concede point on him so it's a great ach- achievement winning commonwealth games by all technical superiority or by fall it's a great achievement but where do you look at where sushil stands today the commonwealth games uh, field isn't that great but will he take heart from the fact that he's come back after a break and then won the gold by this overwhelming margin is that the positive sushil will take from this it's positive but still uh, there is a, a long uh, journey to win medal at the 2020 olympic games uh, asian games are coming in, uh, in in the coming months so he has to win medal at the uh, at the asian games also so it will be like uh, uh, like uh, much harder mm. comparative to commonwealth games and if you talk about 2020 olympic games so he has to qualify for that and then but do you think jagdish that now with this performance sushil can now start thinking about the asian games and the and the olympics because uh, when you're away from competition you have self doubt uh, as you were telling me a short while back uh, the champion the champions of sport actually are under pressure because their name is also at stake do you think sushil has reached a stage where he can now think of going for these big competitions again the performance he has given in the commonwealth games so now he, uh, like uh, he'll be uh, thinking positive so uh, like he can think that now he can practice more harder and uh, win medal at the world championship coming world championship asian games and then he can uh, go to the 2020 olympics because uh, he gets uh, like when you win a medal for the country a gold medal at commonwealth games so you, you get self motivated hmm. so you, you can then perform much better he yes, said also uh, one final question to you on sushil has sushil kumar today proved beyond doubt why he is the greatest wrestler in india yeah definitely has proved that he he is the best wrestler of india and uh, one record uh, first he uh, he has won two consecutive Olympic medals, mm. two Olympic medals. First Indian athlete in the individual game. Then, if you talk about the Commonwealth Games, first Indian wrestler to win three gold medals at the Olymp uh, at the Commonwealth Games. Mm. So, like it's a hat trick. So, it's a great performance by Sushil Kumar. In the women's 53 kg category, where Babita Fogart lost the gold medal bout against Canada's Diana Vika. Babita, a gold medalist in the 55 kg category at the last games, was expected to win this time around as well. but she ran into a determined opponent who matched her strength for strength and asserted better technical superiority fogart's attacks were countered twice in the second period and yielded points for the canadian fogart could not find a way past her and lost the bout 2-5 to settle for the silver medal and making it four medals for india on in the opening day of the wrestling action was kiran bishnoi who bagged the bronze medal in the women 76 kg category Kiran breezed through her opening rounds to enter the semi-final, but she was comprehensively beaten by Nigeria's blessing Onye Buchi on technical superiority. But she rebounded by defeating Katus Kia Paria Dhaven of Mauritius 10-0 inside the first period to seal the bronze medal. Jagdish Kaliraman, uh, you know Rahul Bala Sahib Awar. He's been on the fringes of the Indian team for a long while. We saw him crying during uh, the national anthem when he had the gold medal round his neck. it just has been a very tough journey for him but nice to finally see him achieve a, a sort of uh, global recognition if i could say so at a multidisciplinary games a global recognition and a global recognition for a maharashtra wrestler 
if we talk about today's uh, Indian wrestling team, so he is the only wrestler from Maharashtra. So if you talk about earlier years, K D Jadav, the first um, uh, Indian Olympic medalist, uh, yes. Olympic medalist from Maharashtra. So like he is performing very well. If you talk about his uh, journey, so it was a struggle journey for him from last eight ten years. Hmm. He was not able to uh, participate in the Glasgow uh, Commonwealth Games. He had an injury. So today he has proved that he is the best. And he has uh, the potential to win medals at the uh, Olympic level, at Asian Games, at World Championships. But what, when you saw his final bout, Jagdish, what was it about that final which uh, caught your attention as a wrestler? As fans, we have a different view, you know. But uh, what I liked when I when I saw that bout was that he didn't give up, and and he knew when he had the lead at six four in the first period that he had to wait for his moment. The Canadian had to attack, and he took those moments. You see, basically, uh, the first thing comes in the sport is confidence. So you should have confidence. Either you are uh, uh, trailing behind, you're losing a bout, or you're winning a bout. If if if, if uh, anyhow you are confident, if you lose the confidence, you will lose the bout. So from the, from the starting, he he had good confidence, and and he is a good wrestler, technically very good wrestler, good counters, hmm. and uh, the, the very famous technique of Yogeshwar Dutt, fitle. Fitle. So uh, he scored point on fitle, hmm. twice or thrice he uh, scored the point. So that uh, makes him uh, a good wrestler. That how you can utilize your energy, how you can use your potential at at at, at the podium finish. Yes, and uh, when you're talking about experience, I think I should also bring up Babita Fogart because she's very experienced. She's also a world championship medalist in 2012. Were you disappointed that she could not finish it off because? Uh, Uh, going into the match, you knew the Canadians are tough, especially in women's wrestling. But you did think that Babita, because of her experience and the fact that she's won a gold medal before in Delhi, also she won a silver medal. That she had the experience to win this bout, but uh, the Canadian countered her very well. Yeah, I can say that um, although they were like both very cl- um, a close bout in between them, but still uh, she performed very well. She uh, tried; her, she gave her hundred percent. It's like it's wrestling, it's sports. So one has to win, one one has to lose. Mm. But still, she performed very well. She was like uh, trying to score points. She was attacking. Like she performed her hundred percent. Then um, uh, two mistakes were done by her mm. when when she was attacking. So um, she could not uh, like uh, analyze that uh, the Canadian wrestler is going to do the counter. Counter, yes. And she has to take the risk. Mm. So whoever takes takes the risk, either you gain or either you lose. So the Canadian took the risk to do the counter, and she scores the point and wins the bout. Yes, she won the bout. She won the gold, and sadly, uh, Babita Fogart had to be content with silver. Thank you once again, Jagdish, for giving us that perspective Thank from you. the point of wrestling. We'll move on and uh, stay with wrestling because more gold medals are expected from the wrestling contingent on Thursday as well, with four Indians hopefuls in action. Bajrang Punia. The 2014 Asian and Commonwealth Games silver medalist in the 61 kg leads India's charge in the men's 65 kg category. 2017 Commonwealth Games Championship silver medalist Mosam Khatri is in action in the men's 97 kg freestyle event. In the women's events, 20-year-old Divya Kakran, winner of the gold medal at the 2017 Commonwealth Championship, features in the women's 68 kg event. While Pooja Dhanda, another gold medalist from the Commonwealth Championships. Is in action in the 57 kg event. Okay, Michael Nobs, former Indian hockey coach, was at that game. He wasn't wearing his India colours because his daughter was playing that match for Australia. So, first of all, Michael, many congratulations. Uh, I do hope that your daughter is very happy today, and I do hope you were rooting for her. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, uh, I was torn between both of them. You know, my daughter was cranky, um, and India winning. So I was really pleased. You know that Australia won, and my daughter played very well. So I was very, very happy. Okay. But, but as a game, you know, the India Australia. Go on, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I was saying, yes, uh, you may be happy. We are yeah. slightly disappointed, Michael. But what a game! Uh, India were not expected to really push Australia all the way. They dominated possession and. When they go back and when they go back to the village and they think how they played, they can hold their heads high. This wasn't a performance to be ashamed of. Yes, they lost, but they really fought hard. Look, I don't think India's ranking at ten is anywhere near as well as they can play. I mean, they're really a top four or five team in the world now. They are consistently producing the results on the field and consistently playing well. They're playing with confidence. You know, if they just uh, improve in front of goals, I mean, they'll they'll. 
certainly be doing really well. You've got to remember that the, the most important thing is not so much the Commonwealth Games as the Asian Games coming up. Because yeah. that's your direct entry into the Olympic Games. And if they keep doing, if they keep improving, they keep playing like they're doing now. I mean, they knocked off England, um, which is the second top team in the world, and the Olympic champion. If they can keep doing that, you know, they're going to do really, really well. So I would, I, although there's a tinge of disappointment that they lost, and they still have a chance of playing for the bronze medal, and if they could pull that off against England again, that will be a real feather in their clap. cap. They will have made it at the top level. Okay, now while the women's team slipped up, the men's hockey team will look to seal a third consecutive final appearance when they take on New Zealand. In the semi-finals on Friday, the men's team are unbeaten in the competition and seal their spot in the semis with a thrilling 4-3 win over England with two goals in the last two minutes to ensure a top place finish in the group. Shuad Marine's side have overcome a slow start in the competition and are starting to hit the levels they have displayed in the last year. India's recent record against New Zealand is pretty impressive, with the Indian team winning twice against the Black Sticks on the tour down under earlier this year. Michael, how do you look at this one panning out? Because uh, New Zealand have been a strong team in the past as well. They've caused India problems. But the recent record of Short Marina's side is good. And, and we saw India finally in that sense play to potential what we know they are capable of in that game against England. Look, there, India now, I mean, they go into this match as favourites. I mean, they've beaten New Zealand quite convincingly quite a few times now. Uh, and I don't think they should have any fear of New Zealand. They, India now knows how to win. I mean, they consistently win. Even when they play poorly, they still win. They fall all over the line. Not a good team is that the self-belief in these players will will they win. They will win. And it's so I think they should really be confident going into this game. And I expect them to be playing off for the, the gold medal match on Saturday. OK, and where do you think this battle is going to be won, uh, Michael? You know, India has Sri Jesh in goal. You know that Sri Jesh can be counted on to keep those uh, New Zealand attacks away. But we saw a fantastic performance from the midfield in that game against England, especially led by the captain. Is, is that where the battle is going to be won? That Manpreet will now once again have to play a starring role? Ooh, look, um, the battle of the midfields is always interesting anyway. And Man Preet has, has now shown that he's a class class player. He's played nearly 200 games now, I think. But what I was pleased about is Shreeja. Shreeja's had a slow start to the tournament. He was making fundamental little basic errors that you don't normally see. But you've got to remember he's just come back from a, a major injury. So he's now played himself back into form. The real key is who can stop the penalty corners. That's really going to be the thing. They've both got good... I think India's got the best corner battery, but once again, there is a, a cloud, I guess, on Rapinda Powell. I don't know whether he's playing or not tomorrow because he's a big part of the Indian defence. But the penalty corner batteries is where it's going to be won. The midfield, I think it'll be reasonably even, but the you know how you defend corners and how you attack corners is where this game's going to be won or lost. OK, there's a gold medal match at stake, so both teams will really have to step it up, especially, as Michael says, in the penalty corner department. Hopefully, India Sri Jish is up to it. Michael Knobs, pretty late for you in Australia. You're in Gold Coast for the game, so enjoy. Have a good night's sleep. Have a content sleep.